Are you ready? Didn't we they replace up to 2,000 or 6,000 or whatever? So uh, it's still more. Oh, yeah. With this sort of tank system, it'll be relatively inexpensive to do a few nitrate, nitrate. That's right. In Fiji, since the end of uh, 1984, we've been interested in, in an, an assessment of our natural stocks of, of giant clams. Um, over that almost three year period, we've now looked at uh, almost 75% of our very extensive reefs in, in Fiji. Some of these are up to 200 miles from our, our main center in Suva. Uh, and and uh, I think I could say overall that the, that the results have confirmed that, um, that a lot of our stocks of giant clams um, have, have, have been um, extremely depleted as a result of harvesting either by our own people or foreign poachers. Um, we have found a few areas where the stocks are still fairly, fairly abundant and this is some comfort but I think, I think generally we found that we have a lot less clams than we originally had envisaged even in, um, even in the very remote islands. Um, one thing that we also did uh, in these surveys was to spend a lot of time looking at the size structure of the clam stocks in the areas that we surveyed. We spent a lot of time, um, in fact, measuring uh, uh, on, on the bottom a large number of clams, normally 100 or more at each site. Um, and what we found is that what we're, what we're looking at in terms of the exploited population um, is a, a large number of, of, of older clams, some of them I would, would assume up, up to 20 years old, and not really very much in the way of small clams at all. This, uh, I think, as far as an, an explanation for this, the most logical one to us seems to be that um, what we're looking at with our natural stocks, at least of this particular species, Daraza, which is our main species, is that uh, is, is that what, you, what, you're, what you're commercially harvesting is an, uh, a stock which has accumulated over, over um, a, a period of up to 20 years uh, and after you've harvested, as there are so few juveniles, it seems that the, the recruitment of this particular species uh, is very erratic. Uh, what you're looking at is, is perhaps uh, a recovery period of perhaps up to 20 years, and this is something which I think has, um, is, is fairly significant. And I think obviously something that people need to take into account when, the, when they are planning to undertake commercial harvest of this particular species, Daraza. So that for us was a very significant result of the survey. And what we've, what we've done as a result of that is to have our cabinet approve a series of exploitation guidelines um, under which we've been able to exert a much tighter control over the harvest of the resource. And these include things like the actual harvesting can only be undertaken by Fiji nationals, not by foreign interests. If there is export of, of, uh, of product, the export of the, um, of, the, of the big white mussel, the adductor mussel, will only be, be approved if the exporter has shown that he's also sold, sold the mantle, which is about three quarters of the weight of the, of the clam meat. Um, things such as this, we've, we've also in, encouraged any of the, the, commercial, um, the commercial operators to look for uh, other uses for the shell and, and so on. Uh, it seems to be operating fairly successfully and in fact since we've instituted uh, these series of exportation guidelines there's been a big reduction in the export of clams and I think, I think we've, we have now stabilized the, the, the situation as far as commercial exportation is concerned. Um, in the course of our, of our survey work we also found that the largest species of clam, Gygus, um, has probably only in the last 15 years become extinct in, in Fiji and we have been very interested uh, I think for several reasons in the possibility of reintroducing this, this species. So what we've done with the support of our 
uh, our, our friends um, at James Cook University in North Queensland who have been very successfully culturing guess on a, um, a fairly, fairly large scale. We've been able to arrange for them to, to ship seed to us. Um, we've, since then we've kept it in a quarantine situation um, on a quarantine island which we have in, in our country and um, we hope eventually to be able to use that stock either as the source of, of perhaps um, some farming operations in the future uh, but also certainly for reseeding some, some of our reefs where this species of clam has become extinct in recent times.